So last week, we started a discussion on the rolling out of the integrated customs management system at the various ports. It started on June 1, and the whole system has been fraught with several challenges. Now, according to freight forwarders, the system is not working. Those who started uh, on the GC nets who are not able to complete clearing their goods are unable to clear their goods because they are having to roll onto the new system and it's taking a while. Now, according to them, demurrage is increasing. So if you are not able to clear your goods on time, you are paying a lot more for demurrage. Another concern of freight forwarders is that uh, they are having to pay less. So for instance, if it's taking me some 1,000 cities to clear my goods, the system is giving me maybe 200 Ghana cities. So government is losing. And it's very critical for us to take a look at this in this era where coronavirus is taking a chunk of our funds. Now, last week, Wednesday, we had here uh, the head of public affairs for Ghana Link, technical operators for uh, the ICOMs. And he says all the systems or all the challenges of freight forwarders had been resolved, but apparently not. And so we're trying to look a bit more uh, at this issue because my colleague, Josephine NGJ, is at the port currently and joins us via Skype. Good morning. Morning, Ethel. So, where are you currently, Tema or the KIA? I'm currently at the Tema port. Uh, okay. Even though the background doesn't really show the the sea and the containers in here, either, but I'm at the administrative side of the port. Okay. What can you report? Has anything changed so far? Well, this morning when we got there, uh, we interacted with a few of the freight forwarders, and we we realized that there's still mixed reaction towards the system. Some are giving about, let's say, about 10 people. I spoke to, had about five of them saying that they still have the same challenge as that a week down the line. Mm -hmm. And then others are also saying they have been able to make a, a little headway into the system. But the people that I spoke to who were actually peeved and complaining bitterly were their issue was that uh, they can access the system, okay? Mm -hmm. When you need to go into the system, you need your TIN number. Mm -hmm. uh, but this TIN number does not populate into the ICOM platform. And that is the first line that you start with. And mm -hmm. also the shipping lines also, immediately your TIN number is not populating onto the ICOM platforms. It means that the shipping line cannot release your cargo for you okay. to go to continue the process. So these are the challenges I've gathered this morning still with the people. And the other side of the people who also uh, spoke to me were the people who were using their old system, the gimmicks, that is the GCNet system. Mm -hmm. They have been able to go on about half of the process. So mm -hmm. where they are currently now is that they have been given the directive mm -hmm. to use manual process to continue and mm -hmm. then they can exit with their goods out of the port. But mm -hmm. uh, what we are gathering also at all is that um, we are told that there's a directive that has been issued as of today that uh, GRA uh, is planning another training for the freight forwarders. Mm -hmm. It's going to take them about a week so that they can still get used to the system mm -hmm. and then they can use it. So Monday, the set of people who are going to have your training until the end of this week and then they can uh, know they can have a fair assessment of what is actually going on mm -hmm. but i also interacted with acum officials and and they put out a release and the release uh, is is categorically stating that within a week that according to them they have had about 4930 bill of entries entering the port so what does it mean what does that mean this actually means that they are telling us that about 4,930 forwarders have been able to access the system within the week. Within a week, this, okay. Within the past week, despite the hue and cry and the complaints here and there. So ICUM is officials are defending the fact that the system is correct and that maybe those who are actually shouting at the rooftop are people who can't really get computer savvy and they they can't get used to the system. Mm -hmm. So what this one also means is that the 4,930 uh, bill of entries that have gone into the system, according to IQ mm -hmm. officials, they're telling us also that they have reached 
100 over 170 million CDs within a week okay. for the system. Mm -hmm. That is coming from ICUM, defending the system and also making us also get to know that, well, they, their eyes are open to ensure that the system works and it can stand. If the system is time. working, why are they saying they want to train people then? They want to take another week to train, to train freight forwarders. If the system is indeed working, did yeah, you ask? So that's the critical question I put to them. Because if you are telling us that you have had over 4,000 bill of entries into your system, then it means that if we have about 3,000 forwarders, it means you have solved the problem. Mm -hmm. So there's no need for training. But all they could tell us was that mm -hmm. they, they, they believe that the freight forwarders need further training okay. to use the system. The Ghana Link, um, the head of public affairs for Ghana Link, Norvana Kwahe, for last week said that compared to GCNet, which was the old system, this system is actually are easier and not as cumbersome. But I'm told that the new system, you actually need EPA, MPA, OMCs, BOG, Chamber of Commerce, uh, GPHA, all of these, you need to go through all of these systems before you clear your goods. Is that what the case is? Okay, so the difference between the old system and the new system is that uh, initially because it was two vendors, mm -hmm. means when you start the process, you start with one vendor. And then it pushes you to the second vendor. Okay. But in this particular instance, where IQM is managing the system. Oh, uh, we are having a bit of challenge connecting with uh, my colleague, Josephine in GAJ, who is currently at the Tema Port. We'll try reconnecting with her. But I mean, what she's saying is, according to managers of the Integrated Customs Management System, uh, some 4,930 uh, freight forwarders have so far been able to access the system, you know, trying to justify the fact that in just a week, they say, so Monday to Friday, uh, some 4,930 freight forwarders have been able to access the system, trying to justify the fact that, I mean, this is not, this is working, the system is working. Uh, we have just been back, so let's let's get, you were making a point about the clearance system, the fact that freight forwarders say the system is a bit cumbersome, you're trying to explain. Right, so I was just trying to um, tell viewers, uh, the difference between the old right. system and the new system. The main difference is that the old system was being run by two vendors. Mm -hmm. So you start the process with one vendor and then you end with the next vendor. That's mm -hmm. West Blue. Mm -hmm. But in this particular instance with a new system, ICUM takes charge. Ghana mm -hmm. Lake takes charge of the entire from the end to the end. So from the clearance chain from beginning to the end, mm -hmm. you are dealing with them. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then also, we have other agencies that are connected to the clearance chain mm -hmm. that are, were supposed to be, have migrated onto the new system. But as of now, uh, we're told that a few of them are on it, not all of them. So, for instance, um, EPA, Energy Commission, we have uh, Food and Drugs Authority, we have Ghana Standard Authority. All these need to come on the system so that they can... Uh, grant your permit before you for can instance, clear your goods exactly for instance mm -hmm. if you are clearing a vehicle a car and then you need an exemption you need to apply on the system for it to hit the the system for the ministries to grant to grant you that particular permit but mm -hmm. in this particular instance uh, the mmda that the ministries ministry of finance are not on it so what is being done is that you have to move straight to the ministry itself and mm -hmm. submit your document for mm -hmm. that particular exemption mm -hmm. to be done. Mm -hmm. So do we know why the system, for instance, is not giving people the accurate freight forwarders, the accurate figures? I mean, there were some freight forwarders who were saying that I'm supposed to pay maybe a thousand to clear my goods and the system is giving me maybe 200 Ghana to 20 cities, which is uh, cheating the system. Do we know why the system is not giving you know, freight forwarders accurate figure? Well, um, according to the ICIM officials who developed this whole thing, I think that um, these are some of the teething challenges they are going through. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are, they are honest to deal with it so mm -hmm. that the state 
do not lose money at this critical point of our, of our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, last week, Wednesday, we had over 100 freight forwarders demonstrating against this new system and asking government to review it or address what their challenges are. What are you picking today? I mean, does it look like they're coming around, they're ready to, you know, sit with government to get a better understanding of how the system works? Okay, today when I got there, the usual crowd that you find at the long room, that's the central point where the freight forwarders come along, have, have actually reduced. Today, you, we didn't find them in that large number and in groups. But what I've gathered on the ground is that hopefully uh, tomorrow, they would want to put out a statement to government so that government will know what is also uh, going on. we we'll also listen to their point, I mean, their statement, not mm. only only take the, the side of custom. So tomorrow mm. they will come out and have a presser, and then they will speak to the world on what mm. is actually happening here at the summer port. Just for HAJ, we are grateful that you made time to speak with us this morning, and we are extending the discussion tonight on business focus. Uh, we want to understand this a bit further, and we want to know by close-up day whether freight forwarders are able to still access the system or whether the problem still persists. And we will be speaking to, I mean, the minds that will be able to help us understand, I mean, this a bit further. So we want to make a date, you know, with us tonight at 6 p.m. on business focus because we want to be able to understand the system better. Now, this is a press release we got from the GRA concerning this ICOMS. And this, it says that it is not the case that, uh, it's about eight pointers, by the way, is that it is not the case that port operations have reverted to the pre-2002 manual system. All transactions from 1st June 2020 have been processed through ICOMS. The manual process was resorted to for addressing transactions that commenced in GCNet and, and all that. So it's, I mean, the GRA is basically trying to, uh, tell us that the new system works and is also trying to admonish freight forwarders to, you know, support them in ensuring that this whole thing works in. You know, processing your goods at the port is also made easy and convenient. So you want to make a date with us at 6 p.m. tonight 